Welcome back. In other political news other than the travel ban, President Donald Trump will be picking a new Supreme Court justice this week. While some media outlets are reporting Mobile native William Pryor has fallen to the end of President's shortlist, some conservatives say don't count him out. News 5's Chad Petrie has that story. Judge William Pryor doesn't shy away from his pro-life views. They came up during his federal confirmation hearing more than a decade ago talking about Roe v. Wade. It has led to uh, the slaughter of millions of innocent unborn children. That's my personal belief. CBS News and other outlets report Pryor has fallen to the end of Trump's Supreme Court shortlist because Senate Republicans fear a fight over abortion if Pryor is nominated. But Kerry Severino with the Conservative Judicial Crisis Network says don't count anyone out. The president has shown that in his cabinet picks at least, he's not shying away from uh, someone who he knows is going to get the, the left upset. They're upset over everything he does. It may bode well for Pryor that during Friday's Right to Life March on Washington, Vice President Mike Pence became the highest ranking White House official to ever speak there. The Judicial Crisis Network also supports Jeff Sessions for Attorney General, and Sessions may also have Trump's ear. Senator Sessions, obviously, the longtime friend and colleague of Bill Pryor and, and knows him well. Some news outlets are reporting Trump's top pick now is Judge Thomas Hardiman from Pennsylvania. Chad Petrie, News 5. Whoever the president picks would likely fill the seat left vacant by the late Antonin Scalia. President Obama tried to nominate Merrick Garland for the spot, but Republicans refused to hold hearings on the pick in 2016, instead waiting for the results of the presidential election. Scalia was one of the most conservative voices on the court, and some Republicans feel whoever takes his place will help add balance to the court.